this is Ogre Boy, and I'm going to be doing my review for the 2008 movie Star Wars The Clone Wars. Um, the movie is directed by Dave Filoni, who is known for his work on the uh, Star Wars shows like The Clone Wars and uh, Rebels and Resistance and The Mandalorian. Um, and this movie follows Anakin, who is assigned an apprentice uh, named Ahsoka Tano and their first adventures together, fighting droids and stuff, and then having to go on a mission to try and take Jabba the Hutt's son back to him. Um, and this movie is pretty much like three or four episodes of the show, and everything that, like the first three or four episodes, I guess they, George Lucas had decided to make them into a movie to help promote the show and everything. And I actually really enjoyed this movie quite a bit um I, when I saw it the first time I didn't enjoy it as much I, I thought it was just all right and everything but uh then I rewatched it every time I rewatch it I enjoy it a little bit more um it's not the best Star Wars thing or anything like that and out of the theatrical Star Wars movies it, it's definitely my least favorite but it still has some really good moments especially when uh uh, Obi-Wan is fighting Ventress, it's really, really cool, epic lightsaber scene, and, uh, the banner between Anakin and Ahsoka is really good too, and I really like Ahsoka, she's a really, really good character, and everything, and this is really before she started getting really big, and everything, and becoming really popular, because, uh, I know a lot of fans and stuff like said that the Clone Wars, when it first started, it wasn't like the best show and everything. I don't really know. I didn't really watch it until it was about halfway over anyway because uh, I didn't get cable until it was about halfway over. So I, I had only seen the movie and then some of the shows from like seasons three or four and everything. So I, I, I was uh, not sure if I would even still like this movie because I, I thought it was just all right when it first came out and everything. But... I really enjoy it a lot more. The, uh, the animation isn't the best, but it's not really meant to be like a big budget animated movie. It's meant to be a TV, sh uh, animated TV show, so it doesn't really bother me and everything. But the sound effects and stuff are still really good, and the voice cast is all pretty good. Um, and I also thought it was cool. We've got Samuel Jackson, Christopher Lee, and uh, Anthony Daniels returning to voice uh, Mace Windu. Um, Count Dooku and C-3PO so that was pretty cool too and R2-D2's in here and uh, all of the other cast are pretty, really good um, and everything the, the guy who does the voice of Obi-Wan he doesn't sound exactly like Ewan McGregor but he, he's good enough and same with the guy who does the voice of Anakin he doesn't really sound like Caden Christensen he's actually sounds a lot different from him and I know some people probably like that about this, this movie and the show. Um, personally, I like Hayden Christensen better, but it don't really bother me. Um, but this is a, just a fun movie. It's not anything special, and it's not one of the best Star Wars things, but I, I still enjoy it and everything. Well, I will say, though, that Jabba the Hutt's son, I think his name is Stinky, he, he's just an ugly little thing. Um, one of the ugliest babies I've ever seen. Almost looks like what Troy Willis probably looked like as a baby. Um, but, yeah, this, this movie was was a lot of fun, though, and everything. I like the, like the mission but with them going to try to return him, and, like, the, the Siths are trying to uh, get the, take the baby back to Jabba because uh, both sides are trying to get Jabba to uh, help them in the war. And everything, and of course, uh, of course, you know the Jedi succeed, and Jabba agrees to help them with the war and everything. But this was uh, still a really fun movie. I liked that it. it kind of goes back to Jabba and stuff because we didn't really get to see him a lot in the original trilogy, just like briefly in A New Hope when, and then in uh, Return of the Jedi. So I thought that was kind of cool too, and everything uh this may not be the 
best Star Wars thing, but it, it to me it is still fun and everything. I, I think I'd give it a seven out of ten. It's it's not like anything extremely special, but it was a good kickoff start for the Clone Wars series, which I'm excited that I'll be able to start watching that because I haven't seen the the all of the series. I'm going to start watching it on Disney Plus and everything because I've been wanting to see it and everything. I want to try to get them watched up before season seven starts. But I think Star Wars The Clone Wars is an alright movie. It's not one of the best or anything, but I definitely would recommend it if you're a Star Wars fan. It's it's worth checking out, and especially and if you like The Clone Wars show, it's definitely worth checking out because you kind of get to see how uh, Anakin meets Ahsoka and stuff like that. And she's really popular and really good character. So, um, but anyway, I, I hope you enjoy this video. Let me know in the comments what you think of Star Wars The Clone Wars, and I hope you enjoy this video, and have a good day, everybody.